That was good. You got me. <laughs> good morning. It is a beautiful, rainy, stormy day here in Gwangju, South Korea. And it's going to be a really interesting day. We have a lot of things to do. First, let me talk about yesterday. By the way, I'm eating Korean Frosted Flakes. You can tell because it says Frosted Flakes right there. We had some interesting things happen to us two days ago. I'll let past Jonathan tell you about that. Go ahead, past Jonathan. Hey, future Jonathan. Um, yeah, hey, uh, I'm coming at you from the side of the highway right now because our bus is like on fire for some reason. So I don't, yeah, okay. I hope your Wednesday's going pretty well. My Tuesday's going pretty good, I guess, you know. I didn't vlog today, but yeah. Uh, back to you. It's Thursday. That was a really weird experience. We also went to the Bamboo Forest. Past Jonathan, tell us about that one. <laughs> hey again, I'm here in the Bamboo Forest, like you just said. Bamboo, it's pretty dope. What do you think, Dad? Bamboo. Okay. That is a place I recommend anyone to go to if they come to anywhere in Asia. I'm sure every Asian country has one somewhere. At least that didn't catch on fire, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> I don't know if I've said this, but as you can tell, I just woke up. So I'm gonna wash up. Today we're gonna go to some Korean market of some sorts, kind of like an outdoor mall, uh, with my sister Christina, and we're gonna try some foreign foods. We're gonna go ahead and try Domino's, maybe throw some KFC in there, uh, maybe some McDonald's, see what that's like here in another country other than America. Oh, they're foreign foods here. I mean, they're not, they're not foreign like to me, because I, I, I don't eat there. So I'll see you at the next take where whatever I'm doing, I don't, I don't know. Are, are you ready, Henry? Are you ready, Henry? You ready? All right. It is 12 o'clock noon. No, I did not wake up like 30 minutes ago from that last shot. That was actually like two hours ago. So we're all together and we're gonna go to Domino's Pizza first and then we're going to go to KFC and McDonald's because all in the matter of a few hours. So I'm not gonna try to get a whole lot to eat. Now, one thing in Korea that they do a lot here is they put like simple syrup on things. So like, like honey, they sweeten everything. Everything from pizza to potato chips garlic bread sticks, everything. All right, here we are, Domino's Pizza. We got the moped to show you some Asian people eating pizza with stuff on it. I don't know. Okay, let's go. If not, we're gonna try it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shrimp falls, spooned cheese fondue. Don't even know what that looks. Okay. All right, so I guess we're just Original. gonna, we're gonna make it simple and go for the pepperoni. Mom, there's, there's bird poop on your shoulder right there. For real. Yeah. All right, so we got our Domino's pizza right here. It's a little container of pickles. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh. oh. So this pizza right here costs $15. The larger ones cost around $30. Right now, this is actually looking pretty good. I've noticed a little bit difference of crust. Let's go ahead and try this. That is impressive. It's a little salty, but besides that, if, if you gave me this pizza in America, I would think it was completely normal. Look at this. Mm. It smells really good. How's the tomato sauce? The tomato sauce is excellent. The pepperoni don't taste, they don't taste like spam or anything? No, regular pepperoni. Definitely smells like Domino's. Burns the roof of your mouth. No, just like Domino's. Very American. That was amazing. After everything we've tried here the past week or so, that was such a break in the taste buds. It was so good to have something normal for once. Next is KFC. If you don't know what that means, you're stupid. Korean fried chicken, okay? So we're gonna see if Colonel Sanders can really pull off international. Okay, so we have to make a quick stop here in the Starbucks. I'm telling you, the Starbucks here are amazing. There's something you can get here that you can't get anywhere else in the world and that's a cherry blossom latte. You can see on the menu, it's actually kind of hard to see, but they have the uh, cherry blossom stuff there and the stuff there. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I got. The cherry blossom, and right here is what I got. Mm. Mm. It's all pink, if you can't tell. I am so excited for this. Oh my word. Let me take a picture of Oh my word. That was incredible. All right, off to McDonald's and KFC now. All right, we got our McDonald's right here. It's actually double-decker. I think that's pretty sweet. Now, this is actually much nicer than I thought it would be. Well, I'm full, but that doesn't matter. 
we're gonna go get some more. We're gonna go to KFC next, which is right next door to us. And they actually have some pretty good ice cream here too. Not not at the KFC, at, at the McDonald's. All right, we made it to KFC. Korean, just kidding, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And let's go. Actually, no, you can see some of the things here on the outside. I can't, I can't read any of it. But this actually is a teriyaki mayo egg chicken bowl. We've got the chicken tenders and that stuff with kimchi on it. But we're probably gonna get something more basic like that today. All right, so we can see their basic nine-piece bucket of chicken is $17,500, which is actually like $17. And some of the... All right, so we got our two pieces of original crispy chicken. They're about $2,000 each, which is around $2. Now, I have to be honest, I live in Ohio, so I live like an hour from Kentucky, but... I actually never go to a KFC, ever. But I've tried it enough times to kind of get an idea if it tastes good or not. So I'm gonna go for the... Wow, that is oily. Have you ever put a piece of chicken on a napkin? After 10 minutes, it becomes liquid. Wow, it's like... That is dripping with oil, literally. I think it should stay in Kentucky. Than what I've tried before. Hold on, let me let me try this. <coughs> it's like all oil, all oil. Okay. I think I need a towel. That's how much oil there is in this. The taste is not bad. I mean, it really it, it's pretty tasty. But I'm just not used to oiliness. Like, look at this. Oh, I mean, the view is better than this chicken. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. If you do come to Korea, try to avoid a KFC. So we had to stop in this bakery. There are so many of these around Korea. They're so amazing. Just look for yourself. Back at the cribbo. I'm actually gonna edit half of this vlog right now, so I will... What are you doing? So I'll see you in a couple of seconds when we're going out with Christina to this market slash mall thing. And we're back. Christina, where are we going this time? Kinsege. 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 I hereby decree Jonathan should not try and speak Korean. I'm gonna hop into another taxi. <clears throat> okay, so what are these called? Appang. Appang. What it is, it's uh, they, they're fish. Let me just show you. It is a snack that is fried, I guess, but it looks like a fish and it's filled with red bean. <laughs> or it's filled with custard. It's okay. And this is where we're going to right now. It's called Fashion Street. Although it's a building, not a street. So this place is basically a huge indoor mall, like six or seven levels. Just, you'll see. And it's not busy today. It is just filled with places like this. I could have sworn we were in a mall, not an airport, last time I checked. Have you no ever noticed how like the railings tend to move faster or slower on these things? Like, who's the guy who designed that? You know, like, like look, there goes my arm, bye. You know, it doesn't make any sense. We got the sushi trays, you know, that's typical Asia right there. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon Stadium. And this is Happy Pills, you know, where you get all your happy pills all from. Candy. And this is where you test out virtual reality, like Christina's doing right now. She's not actually trying it out, she was just asking, because you have to buy like $50 worth of stuff in the store before you can actually use it. Here's Louis Vuitton. To give you an idea, if you don't know Louis Vuitton, that purse right there is $2,700, but that right there, that little thing right there is $7,000. These shoes are 1,125,000 won, which is like $1,000, and this purse is $5,000. They, they can go up to $30,000. $50,000, sometimes even 100000 if you go to the right place. I don't know why I just told you all about that. Purses don't matter. This reminds me of the episode of Spongebob where they're trying to escape from the Flying Dutchman and they have to open the door and go through the, par the, the perfume department. I always hate going in there. Now we're outside again. I don't know how that happened, but we're getting in another taxi now. All right, out again. Christina's waited quite a while to actually take us to this next place, which I still have no idea what it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. 
Sungjong Yokshijong. Sungjong Station Market. We just walked into this place, tried to get some bread, and they just sold out to the person right in front of us. And this is the place Christina really wanted to take us to. So the problem that we have is we can't find a place that has samgyeopsal. It's, it's basically like a Korean barbecue, but they don't have them around here for some reason. So we're trying to find a plan B. We're gonna try this place out for a second. We got this place where we sit down at these little tables. Alright, Krishina, tell us where are we? We're in a chic down, the restaurant. What do they what do they serve her that you love? Oh, there's two questions. I was waiting. We're in a restaurant that serves Naju Komtong. Naju's a region that's just south of the city, and Komtong is beef juice soup. <laughs> that's gonna try it first, go ahead. Oh, that's good. You heard it here first. Look at this. I got my Coca-Cola. It's imported, I don't know from where, but you can't find the glass bottles here. I, this is like the only place I found it. Now we have left and we're going to go to the brew house now, the brew pub, and get some beer. Cheers. All right, so I had to get more of the Dragon's Breath stuff. If you saw the last video, which you can find right here, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I, I haven't been able to find it anywhere else except here. What they do is they infuse it with liquid nitrogen inside of these puff balls, and when you eat one, oh. <laughs> it's awesome. So good. So good. All right, done there at the brew house. Now we're gonna go back to Christina's place. Hey, I haven't told you today I love you. You're so cute. I could just choke you. So we're gonna get a taxi back to her place. I'm just gonna go ahead and transition now. See you later. And we're back at the cribbo. Wow, today was really fun. Lots of food, but lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, put on the push notifications, and give this video a like. Actually, you don't have to like this video because that doesn't really do anything. Henry liked it. Right, Henry? Well, I'm Jonathan Zaharik, and the next vlog I have for you, I have no idea. But I'm sure it's going to be awesome. See you next time. You know that meals like this, like an hour from now when you burp, it's it tastes horrible. Like Mom, you're supposed to laugh no, 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 no. You're supposed to <laughs> no. Again, do it again. Korean food. With Korean food. Ready? Go. Jonathan just told me I'm gonna burp hysterically. You guys thought I'm. You said I'm gonna burp hysterically. I did. <laughs> Christina, my lunch food tastes better than this. Uh, uh, uh.